welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie. Today, as you can tell from the title, we are going to be doing my October TBR jar prompts. Choose my October greets. I'm very excited. I have been loving doing these videos and I love watching Rachel Catherine do them. So shout out to her for always giving me this video idea. But I have my prompts in here. I have some old ones from last month and added some new ones as well. So we're going to mix them up and pick our October reads. There's definitely a mixture in my TBR card right now. I have a lot of like thrillers for October, more like spooky season. I have some fantasies, some romances, just kind of a whole mix of them. But I'm very excited to pick my reads because October is like one of my favorite months in general. And it's also one of the best reading months. It's so cozy and I just love the fall vibes. So we're going to get into it and see what my October reads are. Also to start off, I am already reading Wildfire this month because I just picked it up like yesterday, a little over halfway. I still have a little bit to go, but I really like it. I definitely don't like it as much as I icebreaker as of now but I still like the story and so this is definitely like my first read of October because I'm currently reading it but let's get in oh man let's get into the rest of them I think I'm gonna do nine or ten picks this month because I have been in like a really quick reading mood so that's been great but first up we have a book by an author I haven't read anything from I actually love this prompt because I love finding new authors as we all do but let's see what we have. I've read quite a few of these authors. I read my first Abby Jimenez book last month and I was obsessed with it. But what have I not read? Okay, I know the one I'm gonna pick for this. I have never read a JK Rowling book. I know there's some controversy surrounding her, but I have been watching the Harry Potter movies recently. My girlfriend's super into Harry Potter and I have never been into them, but I've been watching them recently. And so I really want to get through the Harry Potter series. So I think I'm gonna pick this one for one of my books in October. Obviously we all know Harry Harry Potter. I've seen almost all the movies, I think. I don't know if I've seen all of them, but I've seen most of them. I love the vibes and I feel like it's like the perfect fall book. I'm going to pick Harry Potter for the author that I have not read yet. This is going to be one of our reads in October. Number two... A book I bought because of booktube. I'm trying to think, which book did I buy because of booktube? Oh, I know. I'm gonna pick The Naturals for this one. I have been seeing this all over booktube and all over bookstagram, all of that. I've seen so many people talk about this series. This is the same author as The Inheritance Games and I actually read the first Inheritance Games book and didn't really like it that much, but I know a lot of people are saying good things about this series. So I think I'm gonna pick this for the book that influenced me from Book Talk. I didn't really know what this is about even when I was buying it but it's about a 17 year old named Cassie Hobbs. The FBI comes knocking and asks her to begin a classified program that uses exceptional teenagers to crack infamous cold cases. This will be very interesting actually. I think I'll like this better than the inheritance games. I didn't really realize it's kind of like a not thriller true crime kind of. I guess we'll see what this is about but again I've heard amazing things and I picked this up because of booktube so this is gonna be our second October read. Up next number three it's a book with an aesthetically pleasing cover. I love getting this one. There's a lot of books with aesthetically pleasing covers, so I have quite a few to choose from. I think I'm gonna go with Things We Left Behind for this one. I just picked this book up recently. It's obviously the third book in the Knock em Out series, and I have yet to read it. I now have all three books signed by Lucy Score. I got the first two signed at a signing I went to for her and met her at, and then I actually already bought this book. And then when I was back home this past weekend, I went to my barns in Iowa, and they had a signed copy so I had to get it. So now I have all three books signed. Obviously these are the most aesthetically pleasing covers. This is definitely the one I'm gonna pick for that prompt but I'm very excited to read this. I've heard mixed reviews but all the less I'm definitely gonna read it and I'm excited to form my own opinion and see what it's all about. So number three of October is Things We Left Behind. Number four, what will we get? Okay this is a a queer book. I just ripped it, but this is a queer book and I know the exact one I'm picking for this. I have a couple books on here from last month that I didn't get to and I know A Little Life is a queer book, but I'm actually not going to pick that one because I picked a different one recently that I really want to read. It's called Cleat Q. It's a lesbian soccer trope book, but it's basically they play for the U.S. women's national team and one is a little bit older and one has just joined the team and they're getting into their first season of professional soccer, but they kind of have to decide if they 
they want a relationship with one another or if they want to focus all of their efforts onto the soccer team so i'm excited to read this it looks really cute i love the cover we love a queer book so this is gonna be our queer book of the month next up number five a book that ends in an odd number of pages okay we got this prompt last month as well but i'm gonna do a little digging here and we'll see what i find my first one i'm grabbing is the co-worker by freedom mcfadden because i love freedom mcfadden and i've been wanting to read this so we're gonna see if it ends in an odd number and it does i'm not including the epilogue well i don't know if the epilogue ends in an odd number oh one of the characters is named natalie i'm not including the epilogue in this ends on page 349 so i'm gonna pick this for my odd number page book Greta mcfadden is one of my all-time favorite thriller authors and i haven't read the co-worker yet i've heard really great things and she also just announced the third book coming out of the housemaid i don't remember what it's called she just announced it today on instagram it's coming out next june so i have to wait for that one but i definitely have other freedom mcfadden books to read within that time so one of them is gonna be the co-worker and i'm very excited to read this this is about natalie so that's convenient and her co-worker dawn ends up going missing and she kind of gets into this cat and mouse game about whether it's real whether it's not trying to find out who it is that abducted her or took her but i'm excited to read this moving on to number six we have a book your girlfriend picks okay so this is like a significant other but mine's my girlfriend i'm going to have her come up here and pick i'm not sure she's gonna want to be on camera i might just have her pick and then let you guys know what she picked i'm back and i showed her everything in my cart and she picked the addicted for now book i think she picked this one because i recently finished the second book in the addicted series and i really liked it and i told her that i wanted to move on a while ago i told her i wanted to move on to this one so i think she remembered that this is the third book in the addicted series as you know i didn't really love the first book but i loved the second one and i'm hoping i just get even more into the series so i'm very very excited to read this in october this is our sixth book for our october reads moving on to number seven it's a book set in a small town and I already know which one I'm doing. I'm picking Reckless for this one. This one, this is the fourth book in the Chestnut Springs series. I read the third one this past month and I loved it so much. It was powerless. And this is the last book I have where the final one comes out. I think it's the final one, right? Coming out soon. Yeah. So I need to read Reckless this month to prepare for the final one coming out. This one is focused on Theo and Winter, I believe. So I'm very excited. And I just love the Chestnut Springs series. It's small town, Canada romance. So if you like that kind of vibe. We'll definitely love this series, but this is going to be my small town romance pick of the month. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. A sports romance, which I already have a sports romance in here and I don't think there's any others. There's no others, so I need to pick a different one. Oh gosh. Okay, this is a book that's over 500 pages. Do we even have one? Oh, <laughs> guys, we're gonna put a little life in there again. Guys, I'm gonna get to it someday. I always have it on my TBR and I wanna read it so bad, but you guys have scared me to death to read this book because so many of you guys have replied to my stories and be like, it's gonna tear your heart out. I couldn't even get through it. So I'm literally terrified to pick this one up, but it's forever gonna be on my TBRs. We'll see if I end up getting to it this month but this definitely has over 500 pages this is almost this is like 800 pages so a little life i want to read it so bad i just need to make myself read it i just need the right time and i don't know if i'll ever find the right time but one day i promise we'll get to it i'm gonna do two more to make it 10 a book and a series i've started our options between these two which i had on my last month and i didn't read either of these are daisy hates and as good as dead so i think i'm gonna go with daisy hates i've been wanting to read the second book in the magnolia park series and i just haven't because I didn't like absolutely love the first one. I will say I did like the first one, but I didn't, I wasn't obsessed with it like some people. So I've been wanting to read the second book, Daisy Hates, because I heard it's better. We're gonna add this. Hopefully I'll get to it. I have a lot of thick books in here this month, so we'll see how many I end up getting to, but I do really want to read this one. So we're gonna add it to the TBR. And our final prompt, let's see what we get. A book with an illustrated cover. So we have a few of those. I'm gonna go with yours truly for this one. I read part of your world last month was absolutely obsessed with it i don't know why it took me so long to get to but i finally got to it because my best friend picked it out for one of my videos and i was obsessed with it i loved her writing so much and i have been wanting to get to this next one because i was truly obsessed with the first one so we're going to pick this one up so this is about two doctors and they kind of like have it out for each other at first they kind of think each other is like a pain in the ass don't really get along and then jacob ends up sending brianna or brianna i'm 
not sure which one, a letter and they start talking back and forth. Her brother really needs a kidney donor and Jacob ends up giving him his kidney. So we'll see how this ends up in the long run, but I was obsessed with her writing again in the first book. So I'm excited to pick this one up. But those were the 10 books I picked from my little TBR jar prompts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very excited. I have a lot of good reads in here for October. We have a big variety, so that's great. I'm very excited for all the cozy fall like reading vlogs coming up, and I hope you guys are too because October is one of my favorite months. But thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.